Welcome back in. Well, if you take a multivitamin, I do. A new study shows any health benefits may be in your head. A study out of Harvard found 30% of adults taking vitamins reported better overall health than people who don't take them. But a medical history assessing dozens of physical and mental illnesses showed no actual health differences between the two groups. Well, can we trust the results of this study? Our diet nutrition expert from UAB, Dr. Beth Kitchen, joins us once again and uh, by FaceTime. Good to see you this morning. Hey, Mike. It's nice to see you, too. All right. So I know you're well aware of all these studies. So give us some perspective yes. here. What should, how should we take this? So some perspective. This study tracks with a lot of other studies that show that taking a multivitamin probably isn't going to actually lower your risk of getting diabetes, heart disease, cancers, all of those chronic diseases that we talk about. Now, Mike, what it does show is that you might be more likely to perceive yourself as healthy, to feel better about your health if you take a multivitamin. But that 30% that you talked about, 30% more people described their health as being good to excellent. That that was actually a difference of just a couple of percentage points. When you looked at the actual data, like I did, uh, about 85% <laughs> of non-users described their health as being pretty good, whereas 88% described it as mm -hmm. being good if they took a multivitamin. So, you know, they always use that relative risk that we talk sure. about. Yeah, that was a 30% difference, but a lot of the non-users also felt that their health was pretty good. It was the majority. But it is interesting because it does show that, you know, sometimes those things that we do, whether they actually have an effect or not, they make us feel better. It's that self-care aspect of things like taking a multivitamin. Well, let me ask you this, because you've talked before so many times in our segments that, you know, look, you, you want to get most of your nutrients from foods, uh, not necessarily from supplements if you don't have to. I try to. I try to eat healthy. But I think that uh, part of the reason that the, the multivitamins are so attractive is they list all those minerals that you're supposed to get and all these other things. I mean, so when you put that, uh, you factor that in, is that part beneficial? And does it get into your system? You know, this study looked at a big swath of people, right? Now, could there be individual circumstances where taking a multivitamin may be helpful to you? I have some patients that I do recommend a multivitamin if they're not eating a super healthy diet. I always tell people it's a supplement, not a substitute. Remember, you're eating a lot of foods where all those nutrients come from, and, and food is best. But if you want to take a multivitamin to either feel a little better or for a little bit of extra insurance, you know, that's okay. I always tell people, don't overdose, you know, make sure you take mm -hmm. a reasonable multivitamin and then also don't spend a lot of money. Don't let anyone tell you that you have to spend a lot of money to get a good supplement. You can get a lot of really good high quality store brand supplements at very low cost. So as long as you're being reasonable, it might be giving you some advantages that this study and other studies like it really weren't able to show us, you know, those sort of smaller benefits, not, you know, these big chronic diseases lowering that mm -hmm. risk. And, and full disclosure, the only reason I actually take the ones is because a certain family member sends them to me for free. If I had to pay for it, you know, Uncle <laughs> Frugal's not going to pay that That's much good. money for a multi That's good, yeah. <laughs> Dr. Beth Kitchen, we always appreciate it. Thank you so much.